Hey what's going on in today's video we will create this 3D cinematic environment inside of Unreal Engine with the help of Quixel Bridge and some marketplace assets. So let's start the video. So first we will go to file, new level, select empty level. Then we will go to light setup here. And first I will add some direction light. Make it movable add some skylight make it movable then we will go to visual effect let's add some sky atmosphere some height fog and some clouds if you need okay then we will make our landscape so let's go to landscape just hit on create now we will add our waterfall for that close the Unreal engine and open your epic launcher and go to marketplace and download this plugin just search for water material and go to low to high price and just select this one and simply download this and add to your project okay simply click here and select your project that you are working on and simply add to project okay again open your unreal engine then go to water material you can see a folder here then go inside the mesh and here we have waterfall simply drag and drop you can see let's adjust little bit by position it like this one then I will add this one you can see this is kind of river so I will put this just at the this point at this position of the waterfall let's move it here just remember you have to place this river at the bottom of the waterfall okay so that it will look good okay so let's place it below the landscape and don't worry about that so now we will go to landscape now and let's sculpt it little bit downward by pressing shift and left mouse button apply the brush by pressing shift and here we have this river so now again I will go to my select mode and now I will start adding some quixel content and cover this like a cave so let's start adding so let's go to quixel bridge let's go to 3d asset go to nature and you can select your own 3d asset what you want to add okay for my project i am going to use this sandstone lands this sandstone mountains so i will simply download this oh i have already downloaded lots of uh, rocks let me show you this clips this sandstone clips so i will simply close this and open the content browser and here i have megascan folder let me show you this one and inside that go to 3d asset and if i select on this static mesh if you don't see this just click here and select the static mesh and you will see this option okay through this you can only see the assets so let's start adding so first i will see which will be better for our waterfall so this is not that much perfect uh, i think this will be fine so let's add this I will simply drag and drop and rotate little bit in this direction and then let's move it and move it this direction little bit yes that's fine that's fine actually let's add some more assets like uh, this one 
and let's place it here take your time guys take your own time and create your own imagination i'm just showing you how you can use these assets okay so take your time i am just uh, first forwarding these steps you can use other quixel assets you can use other ideas also okay so let's add this here one time cover the ground also just cover all the area that looking okay i will let's add this area also okay now you can see this area is covered now let's add some small rocks small mossy rocks which is left which area is left and save it so now i will add some post process volume and i will go to exposure and in minimum and maximum exposure i will add one by one and search for infinity and simply enable this one and our exposure is in our control okay so let's add some more quixel content what we can add so use your ideas use your imagination take your time and you can create more beautiful than me so let's add one more rock here like this this is fine i think and then i will move it little bit like in this direction so that it will adjust with our waterfall must remember you will take your own time and create your own ideas okay so i will go to my black elder this is megas country you can download this also from the epic launcher marketplace this is free so i will simply drag and drop if you need a specific video on this i have already created some videos on this megas country this one you can go and watch this so simply drag and drop wherever you want okay so this is our top of the mountain uh, this much is fine now i will go to my content browser and just go to megascan and here i have let me show you what i want to download uh, go to quixel content go to 3d asset and here we have history option and here some statue so i want to add some statue and some pillar kind of assets so you can choose any of this so i have already downloaded let me show you this too okay and this plants also download before you starting the project so i will simply close this and i will go to yes this one let's increase its size and adjust according to your scene okay it's not necessary that if i am using this value you will also use that value this is not necessary you can use your own separate values okay so let's increase its indirect light little bit under the direction light okay then i will add this pillar to here and place it here and let's rotate like this and okay take your own time and add according to your imaginations so 
so this is fine for me now let's see what we can add more one more pillar at this place let's increase this just to show you guys i am just doing random work this is not looking so much good okay so take your time you can make it more beautiful so this is fine now i will go to my 3d plants and here are my 3d plants so i will select this four and let's increase its size like uh, what we can add is five yes five is better and we can add more plants so let's add some more rocks here let's cover these areas and this one also here this one at this place increase its size okay use any rock i'm wrong i'm not recommending you to use the same you can use any rock download anything okay or you can use your own custom rock or anything you want to use okay so let's keep it here and this one also increase its size yes this is fine i think now i will go to foliage let's add some foliage here you can see i can directly drag and drop and use these plants let me show you how so by selecting this three i will directly drag and drop here and uh, sorry i have to go select mode and let me drag and drop again so drag and drop this three and simple increase its value and here we have our 3d plants okay this is manual process or you can use the foliage process i will show you so this is another plants and increase its size like 5 yes 5 is better okay so so let's use our foliage process so sorry 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 i'm really very sorry this is landscape so go to foliage this one okay and simply drag and drop these plants to here and you can simply increase its size one and maximum will be three and its density will be like 10 and let's start brushing anywhere i think it's not working so let's increase its size little bit like 5 and if i start applying here you can see okay so let's add some plants here also cover anywhere you want use anywhere you want okay and let's go to select mode again now let's uh, i will go to cinematic and i will add some camera actor here and then i will go to camera right click 
snap object to view again go to perspective and cine camera actor now we will render this so let's change some lens setting 69 dslr and again 30 mm prime i can change it to 22 by 22 this will be little bit white so change your light direction or whatever changes you want to do okay so i will keep this light just to show you guys okay so let's decrease its indirect light a little bit and now i will add a level sequence by pressing here save it and here our timeline and this is our fps you can choose anything 24 for cinematic but i am taking 30 so i will simply drag and drop my camera here and here you can see this is our timeline so let's go to first frame and let's add a keyframe here this small point okay then go to last frame simply like this and change your camera position wherever you want to place your camera at the last okay i will place this camera to here and adds one more point okay and select both the keyframe and right click and linear and this will be our beautiful cinematic linear animation okay now we will render it to play this then go to setting and here you can choose these three option but i will go to setting and tializing and here i will add some sample count to 64 and override anti-aliasing enable okay then i will go to output and here you will select your directory to save your sequence let's rename it tutorial select folder then i will go to my jp i will delete this jp sequence and i recommend you to use exr if you know about this okay then go to output and accept and render it after rendering open your any video editing software then this is my importing option so let me import all the sequence image sequence here i am using premiere pro you can see and i will simply drag and drop all this sequence here but first i will change its frame rate to 24 then i will drag and drop here and that's all here you can export in any format mp4 avi avi or anything okay do some color corrections do whatever editing you want so i will do little bit color corrections and i will go to file go to export and media and here we have all the video exporting options this one okay so this is how you can export so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and give me your feedback and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and see you again next time have a nice day